What's up, you guys? Welcome... Okay. I guess my controller wanted me to go back in the inn. In the inn? Ugh. <sighs> Okay, so what's up, you guys? Great teacher man here bringing y'all back to Let's Play Secret of Evermore, or Secret of Mana. But what's the difference? <laughs> right? Right. So anyway, we're on our way to the Fire Palace, which really isn't that far away from here. Just go south, west, and north, and yeah, you're pretty much good to go. Not quite like the uh, beginning of the desert, where you had to go through multiple screens, whereas now you only have to go through three. Well, that's still multiple screens, but you know what, whatever. So we're fighting pumpkins that grow in the desert, and we're fighting ducks with helmets called Mad Mallards. And their main course of attack is to shit eggs out of their asshole that blow up in your face. Gee, I know of no other video game character that does something like that. Huh, Yoshi? <laughs> okay, see, like that. Just shat his baby ducklings at me. That's just... ugh. Like, why would you launch your fetuses, or is it feti, at the enemy to kill them? Why would you use them as ammunition? That makes no sense, you cruel person! It shouldn't even hurt you. I mean, I can understand the golden eggs from Resident Evil 4 and 5 could hurt you. They just fucking blow your ass up. <laughs> I killed a boss like that in Resident Evil 5, if I recall. And yeah, the entrance to this place, it's a nice little oasis area. Oh god, I'm angering the spider gods. Oh no. No. Oh. You cast Earth Slide on me. Alright, come on guys, stop attacking nothing. Oh no, I've angered him again. No, 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 no. And yes, that is a Chobin Hood over there, except now they're called Robin Foot. Robin Foots. Yeah. Robin Feet. And you know what's really peculiar about these guys? You can actually hurt them while they're casting uh, buffs on themselves. So that's, that's interesting to know. And even when they're down on the ground, you can still continue to wail on them. Which is cool. Now the great thing about this dungeon, well before I go on actually, this is a slide right here, this is a shortcut you can take to get back to the entrance in a little bit, although really it's not that useful. And I, I even used it by accident once not knowing what it did, and I couldn't get back up so I had to go through the dungeon again. Or that part of the dungeon. And then this way really does lead to a dead end. There are a couple of places in this dungeon that lead to dead ends for no particular reason whatsoever, other than other than to say, hey, we have a lot of rooms in this dungeon, you guys. It's a big dungeon. What's the point of those rooms? Well, um, hmm. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. And I like this dungeon a lot, only because at this point in the game, your undying should be a relatively high level, and that's your water element. Obviously, in case you haven't been paying attention at all in this Let's Play. When you have a high level Undyne and you're fighting enemies that are weak to Undyne spells, that's pretty funny. Okay, why did that one LA Funk die, but the other one didn't? I guess the other one was uh, the older brother, or a bigger badass. And this room is quite bright red, that's because there's lava everywhere. And you get a little warning message about it, too, when you enter the room, but nothing really happens. Like, in Metroid, or in, like, uh, Skyward Sword, even, or any Zelda game, actually. Well, not any Zelda. Okay, Ocarina of Time, Twilight Princess, and Skyward Sword. Places where you get hurt just by standing in a hot room. Hot, hot as shit. Uh, you'd be taking damage, but not in this case. So that's odd. Although, I'm kind of grateful. Okay, so even though we're gonna hit this orb here to deactivate the lava in here, guess how we're gonna be doing that? By casting a fire spell on it. Duh. What, you thought to freeze it or put water on it? Nah. No, no, no. We're using fire to blow fire out. See? That makes sense, right? Okay, so red drops, these uh, these little slime enemies are, are, are reappearing once again. And the best way to kill them is by using Freeze on them, but even then, they have a lot of health, these guys. These particular slimes, they really do have a shit ton of health. But you know what I like to do? I'm gonna go ahead and start using this spell more often. Balloon! Balloon is actually very nice. It stuns every enemy on your screen if you cast it on all of them. And you can pretty much just wail on them like an asshole, while they can't do anything about it. The American way. Okay, I don't even know if that makes any sense, the American way. Yeah, I don't want, I don't want these guys to, um, uh, duplicate, so I'm gonna go ahead and cast Balloon again. Did I just cast Balloon on a chest that's running away from- What kind of Balloon is that? What kind of Balloon is that? What? 
It looks, it looks like a Mr. Saturn. <laughs> what the hell? I've never seen that kind of balloon before. Oh shit! And by the way, when these guys touch you, you're, you get engulfed, and that's no good because when you're engulfed, you can't run around at all. You can't do shit because you're too busy dancing like you gotta take a piss. Although really, you're on fire. I'm on fire. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cast medical herb on my teammates. Or cast? Well, actually, yeah, I pretty much am casting it. Yeah. Because I don't want him to get burnt. Because you also take uh, damage over time, which is, like I said, no good. And you know what? We're not supposed to go up there quite yet. Damn it! Okay. Can I please use my menu? Remedy? Come on, chair. Remedy me. Uh, Puddin, while she's doing that, why don't you go ahead and freeze these dudes? That would be really nice of you. Just saying. Okay, and uh, share? You can go ahead and turn them on to little balloons again, although you're not really turning them into balloons, you're just putting balloons on them. Which is kawaii! So, you're not supposed to go up those stairs quite yet, which is why I went back down in this room. You're actually supposed to go left first, if, if you really care about what's, what's in there. I, th I think it's just a thousand gold, but hey, you know, quick, free thousand gold. That's not bad. Free! Because, you know, normally you'd have to pay to get your money, right? Actually. In a way, that is true. <laughs> That's indicative, all right. So yeah, get your thousand gold. You got one grand, bitch. And then, hmm, what's in here? Yep. Okay. Well, anyway, back to that one room with the stairs and the red drops and shit. Oh man, they're probably gonna burn my ass when I go back in there. And what the hell are my teammates doing in that corner? You guys, what the hell? You freaky sex fiends, you! Oh shit! I didn't even touch them, come on! Gee whiz! Okay, remedy me. No, no, no. Remedy me, not yourself and not Puddin, you bitch. I mean, technically, I could just remedy my whole team and it wouldn't really matter. It's not like you have to spend more mana for multiple targets. Okay, once you get to this orb right here, it's gonna extend that little bridge right there, because right now the bridge is like, it, cu it like cuts off in the middle. So what you really want to do here is, you want to use Fireball! Yet again, we're using a fire spell on a switch that is fire related. Except this isn't really fire related, is it? It's more bridge related. Because bridge is an element. <laughs> bridge is an element! It's also a game. And uh, what am I trying to do here? What am I thinking of? Oh yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna use chocolate on myself. CHOCOLATE! Uh, damn, 249. Not bad at all, Cher. Cher hit for like 400 in my practice file, uh, like, earlier today. And, no, she didn't have better gear than she has now. It, it was the same shit. We were going through this dungeon, and she just, she just raped him. Damn! Cher, you evil! Okay, maybe I should actually wait for my 100% uh, strike. There we go. And once you go in here, you're gonna get a chest with more money in it. Uh, another 1,000 grand. 1,000 grand? Hey, that's a lot of money. <laughs> no, 1,000 gold, I should say. And, uh, although, what does the G stand for? I mean, I, I assume it stands for gold, but technically it could also stand for grand, so really. Damn, we're rich. How much money we got? Hold on, how much money we got? Or how much money do we have, I should say. What do I even look at that stuff? In the stats? I am not used to seeing how much money I have by going to my stats. Okay, so technically that would mean I have 21,508 grand. Wow. So, uh, I'm a multi-millionaire, you guys. <laughs> That's interesting to know. This is a little, uh, kind of a cheesy little maze room right here. And by maze, I mean, like, literally, you just kind of pick the way that doesn't have a fire blocking it. <laughs> and what's interesting about these guys, like I said, I think I said that, I can't recall, but you can actually hurt them while they're buffing themselves, and even while they're down on the ground, so that's really nice. The enemies in this place are actually either weak, or they're weak to something that's powerful. <laughs> like my high-level underwear. Yeah. And then thrash this chest about, we get Axe's Orb! So that's always nice to... Come on, Cher, wrong way! Okay, jeez. Fucking babysitting. I'm gonna babysit Cher and put him. Oh my. Ow. <laughs> Sorry about that, I just had to do something real quick. 
Okay. No, not masturbate. I had to pause. You know what? Uh, Puddin, why don't you go ahead and freeze these suckers? Freeze them good! And that might actually level it, too, by the way. Because I know, yep, I knew it. I had a damn good hunch he was going to be leveling his undine soon. In this episode, anyway. Or not experience bar, but like the number, whatever. Go this way, uh, after you're done getting the axes orb. And then in here, you're going to fight more ducks and shit. Chair? Pudding? Stop getting stuck on corners! You're so not rad. You know that? You guys are not rad. You just, you just losers. You're dweebs. Okay, good. Kill those things. That's all I really care about, because these ducks ain't got shit on me. They do have eggs on me, though, that blow up. Going in here and whatnot, oh boy, another red drop. Okay, well, you know what? You're gonna eat some fairies nuts. Ah, uh, that's just the way it is, bro. You're just gonna eat some nuts. Okay. So now we've taken care of that little problem of yours. <laughs> Go ahead and cast uh, Freeze on these guys again, because then, well, really, I know it's not going to kill. Okay, don't cast it. I'll just run past him. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever works, right? Right. Go ahead and cast Freeze again, since I know that stupid cloud over there is going to try and harass me. That asshole. It's like the cloud from Super Mario 64 on that one world. I forget which world it was. I think it was the, um... Tiny Huge World? Or Tiny Huge Island? Something like that. That one cloud that can, like, blow you off a bridge, I think? He And, like, he had sunglasses? I don't know, he, he could blow you. And he was really good at it, too. Cher does not want to follow me, I guess. Yeah, he could blow you off and you lose your hat. I don't know, something like that. But anyway. So yeah, press that switch. You're definitely gonna 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 wanna gonna wanna wanna gonna, gonna wanna do that, and then take these stairs to the right of the ones that you came in from, and uh, just harass these robins' feet while you're at it. Or robins' foot, since there's just one. Then equip your whip right here. Equip that whip, sucker. And okay, where's the whip? There it is. Chain whip. You always know when you are able to whip. Just whip it right out. Just unzip your pants and just whip it out. Just whip it right on the hell out. You can always tell when you're gonna be able to whip something because the screen will move. Okay, don't forget to re-equip your whatever weapon you're using if you're not using the whip. Uh, you probably aren't. Most people who play this game tend to like the sword or axe. That's what I've noticed. Although the whip in its own right is really not that bad. I like it. You know, it's, it, it ain't bad. It ain't bad at all. Hmm. What works on the sword again? Uh, I believe... Uh, I'm about to analyze it, really. Okay, I, I think it's Puddin' has to cast something on it. Right? Yeah, okay, I, I think Freeze, right? Freeze is what you gotta use? All these Braziers in here with the, uh, no, I'm not talking about bras. They have fire. They, and then when you use that uh, uh, Freeze on that uh, orb, they all go out. Except for these two. I'm gonna investigate that. Hmm. I wonder why it would do that. That's so odd. I wonder if... Ah, oh, I see your game, Square. Yeah, actually, if you just walk in the center between these two braziers that are still lit when the other ones aren't, then yeah, I guess that's all it takes to unlock the way to go. <laughs> it literally just summons stairs to you, too. That's, uh, that's interesting. Okay, so we're fighting a boss here, obviously. A Minotaur! He's really not that tough, either. He's actually kind of a puss. So you know what? Thunder Saber is really nice. I like it. This guy is, by the way, weak to Sylphid, so that's also good. Having a Sylphid-type magic on our weapons, it will serve us well. But anyway, Thunder Saber's nice, because what it does is it gives you not only Thunder-type physical attacks uh, for a little while, but also boosts your critical strike chance, which is when you whack enemies, obviously. Now, I know I said that it's usually best to just chain cast uh, air, bl air Blast or whatever it's called instead of just using Thunderbolt. But in this case, since Thunderbolt still does more damage compared to its mana cost compared to Air Blast or Air Wave or Airsoft or Air Gear or Airport or whatever the hell it's called, then yeah, it'll actually be a better choice to cast Thunderbolt on this dude over and over again. And don't ask me why he likes to make the X symbol with his arms. I think he does it to try and protect himself, which is futile because it doesn't really reduce the damage that you do to him. So, uh, yeah. Odd. <laughs> uh, uh. 
Oh boy, her magic skill went up. That's always nice. Level 3, huh? That'll, that'll actually be really nice, because then she'll be healing us for even more than she did before. So, once again, just well, once that's out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and use Air Blast, since I can't use uh, Thunderbolt until I regenerate his Magicka, because this is an Elder Scrolls game, obviously. Gobble those nuts, boy! It'll make you a man! Somehow. <laughs> I don't know how eating another man's nuts will make you a man, but eh, whatever. And once this Minotaur turns uh, bright, pissed off red, then uh, that that's usually a good indicator that he's almost done. And of course, the button got knocked out. And oh man, don't impale the man while he's down, you asshole. Ass white toilet paper, you! Pretty much just keep beating the shit out of this horse. This horse! With Thunderbolt, and uh, that should be the last one. No? Okay, this won't be the last one, right? You can also keep attacking him, obviously, that works. Since he's quite weak to... He's, he's pretty weak to everything, really, except he is he is slightly weaker to Thunder uh, type shit, which is why I'm using it on And yeah, he's dead now. He's dead! Ding dong, the bitch is dead. And what did we get? A bright white screen? Red white pixie dust? Mmm! Gonna get high tonight! Our weapons are pink because we still have the uh, Thunder Saber shit. Got Javelin Zorb! Yeah! Okay. Yeah, all, all weapon enchantments uh, wear off after you hit enemies enough times. Otherwise, they last forever. The seeds on the stage! Hold up the sword! Okay. Hold up the sword! By hold up, I mean stab the acorn. And it glows a nice bright blue. Received the seeds power. Oh boy! Well, you know what, you guys? It's about time that we... Well, then again, we're not quite done yet, are we? I bulldozed through this fucking dungeon. I'm gonna go ahead and use... Uh, my escape rope to get out of here. Not my rape rope, my escape rope. May as well go back to town while we're at it, get that little section out of the way. Or you know what? I'm actually just gonna cut to that part. I'll see you guys there. Um... Uh... Uh... Um... This isn't good. I... I'm actually pressing right and up and down right now, and I'm... Uh... Uh... <laughs> um... Wow... I'm stuck. I'm actually stuck. Whoa! Okay, now I'm not. Oh, thank God. I just had to dash with A. Oh, man. I didn't even think to use that. Thank God. I was about to say, if I have to do the whole dungeon again, that's gonna piss me off, no matter how easy it is. So anyway, we're back at Kakara, and that guy doesn't seem to be phased by the fact that we defeated the palace. Which is a good thing for these guys, I believe. The seed hasn't brought the water back. Mana's growing weaker. If only we had a sea hare's tail. Oh boy, it's a fetch quest. Without one, without one, this realm is finished. You've brought back the fire seed. Thanks, but our our uh, Indian accent still sucks. <laughs> well, his name's Amar. What the, what the hell? He has to be Indian or Middle Eastern or something. Or well, technically. Everyone's moving away. I don't think I'll move to the Empire. Now even Cannon travel as a route there. Really? Well, you know what? Speaking of which, we're gonna go ahead and uh, take her up on that offer, even though she ain't really offer us anything. I am about to pass out from the seat. Yeah, I'm sure you are. Wait, did I already say that in the previous episode? Whatever. So you know what? We could actually upgrade some shit, like the spear and the bow. Oh, no, not the bow. Okay. The axe. We're gonna upgrade the stout axe to the metal axe. Anything else? The reason I'm why I'm slowly going through the uh, list here to see if we can upgrade anything is because sometimes uh, it'll look black, which would normally mean that you can't upgrade it because uh, you don't have the uh, orb for it. When really, it it just it just looks black. That's what it will look like is black. So really, yeah. Where are you headed? Oh, that was quick. Uh, 
Okay, so one means Watongo, two means Ice Country, and three means the Empire. Uh, well, we're going to the Empire, you guys! We're already done with Matango, we're done with the Ice Country, and we're done with this place. Keep a low profile out in the Empire! Just slide on in! Kinky. Ah, oh, God! Well, we landed right at another Cannon Travel Agency. So that's, uh... I don't even know if those guys are actually called the Cannon Travel Agency, so you know what? Whatever. I, I'll call it that either way. Okay! So, we're here! You know what else we are, guys? Leaving. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. This is Great T-Shirt Man, signing his dick out! Yeah, signing it out. I'm pulling it out, too. Bye.